Yasu Worku with a silent E. At the yeah. Beginning. What's the origin of your name? Um, well, I'm Ethiopian, so um, it's, it's pronounced Yasu, but people just call me Yasu. But so it's you a, do pronounce the E? Ethiopians, they usually pronounce the E, and it means Josh in Ethiopian. Oh, so very nice. I actually go to uh, Starbucks or restaurants because they can't say Yasu. Yeah. I usually put my name as Josh. Yeah. Colin calls me Josh. Uh, some of my other teammates call me Josh, but it's a nickname that I. I kind of like. Were your parents born in Ethiopia or are they? From yeah, they're actually, they're, um, my parents were born in Ethiopia and they okay. moved to America 22 years ago, so two years before I was born. So you're first generation American? Yeah. Are you still pretty close to the Ethiopian roots though, overall? Yeah, when I when I was living in LA, mm -hmm. when I was young, um, I, I would go to church every Sunday in Ethiopian church, so. I mean, I'm pretty proud of being Ethiopian. I mean, I don't know if there's a lot of Ethiopian basketball players, not yeah. that I know of. It's kind of a big deal that an Ethiopian a Division One basketball player. I just want like fellow other Ethiopians to play basketball as well. I mean, it's it's kind of been a big deal. So you're a local boy. Mm -hmm. Why did you want to stick around here? For college? Um, main reason was um, I wanted my friends and my family to watch me play every game. Yeah. Actually, during my recruiting process, I kind of wanted to go far away because I kind of wanted to do my own thing. Yeah. But um, my first year as a freshman, I, I really enjoyed my parents being near me. I could go home every other weekend and get a, a home-cooked meal. Mm -hmm. I mean, we're a real, really competitive family. <laughs> and I mean, they come out to every game, they support me. I support them as much as I can. Any uh, competitions going on around the holidays when you guys are all get together? Yeah, um, actually, my, da my dad was, uh, he was a professional soccer player back in Ethiopia. And we usually try to get a family game going of soccer. I mean, we, it's usually like me and, me and my youngest sister versus my dad, my other sister, and my mom. And we kind of just try to play and we'll play some basketball. They're not really that good. They're, they're not good at all, actually. But I mean, it's just, it's just for the fun of it. How were you initially recruited to UC Irvine? I was either between here, uh, UC Davis, Stanford and Boise State, those are my four official visits that I took yeah. and just felt like it was at home. I felt like the coaching staff had belief in me. I picked her, I think three days after I, I took the visit here, I committed here. The players that had me out on an official visit, so it was actually uh, Darian, uh, Max was my uh, host, and Gallo. And I don't know, I just felt like a click. I just felt like these, these guys are like, they're good guys. And I just wanted to be a part of that. Yeah. I was captain last year, but this year I, I kind of want to make my presence known. Um, not only to uh, keep this tradition going, but we have a big chance to exceed many uh, expectations. And that's our goal this year. Off the court, we've been told you like Harry Potter. Oh. You're like yeah. an athlete, and then you're like a little bit of a bookworm, maybe? Yeah, I was just a huge Harry Potter fan when I was young. Yeah. Um, and then, I mean, I read all the books multiple times. How many times? Oh, God. I, I, maybe, maybe around the 20, 30 times. Yeah, it's... 20, 30 times each book? Yeah, I've, I know each book like inside and out. How many books are there, seven? There's seven books. So yeah. do you just finish number seven and start back at one? Yeah, I'll just finish it. And then like there's, there's points where I was just like, let me just read number four like in the middle of the day. And I'll just read it and I'll just keep going, keep going until I can finish it. I think when I was in fourth grade, I actually met JK Rowling. She oh, signed, awesome. She signed my book. So what is that doing for you intellectually every time you're reading it through, like say time number 17 of reading it? What are you picking up on? Uh, I'm trying to find new things. I'll, I'll find something new. I'll be like, oh wow, this makes sense. And I'll try to like watch videos of, okay. try to find like secret things. Favorite character? Uh, Sirius or uh, Ooh, Neville. Complex. Yeah, yeah. Sirius or okay. Neville Longbottom between okay. them two. But wow. I think Sirius. Both unassuming. I wouldn't have guessed that. Yeah. I mean, Neville, he grew in the book. It kind of showed his growth. He, he was a shy kid. And then at the end, he turned into like the biggest the biggest part of the movie. Do you but, feel like that's kind of who you're embodying? I mean, yeah, I mean... Maybe as a basketball player, yeah. I would say. <laughs> um, he, because at the end, he turned into like a complete new person. He was yeah. just a, trying to fall for what he thought it was right. And it was just, it was good to see him finally burst out that bubble, but yeah. yeah good parallels there. Yeah. yeah. Let's sort your teammates into their proper houses. Well, first Ooh. let's start with you. What house are you in? Oh, um... I don't, I know you've thought about this. Oh, no, for sure. I'm, I think I'm a Gryffindor, okay. for sure. I think, I, I don't know if it's like bravery, but like, I'm not afraid to like, I'm not afraid to speak for what I like, for what I think. And I'm not a like, obviously I'm a basketball player, I'm not afraid to take yeah. a big shot or to, to 
to the big things. You're like Harry, the protagonist of the whole. I don't know about hair. Yeah, yeah I mean, I mean, I'm always, I'm always dreaming about doing that. But, uh, but yeah, I, be, I think I belong in Gryffindor. Gallo. Gallo. He seems more of like a, like a Hufflepuff. He's kind of like the goofy, kind of like goofy guy. But he's like, he's like a leader in the shadows. He kind of like does his thing, and everyone kind of, uh, like kind of, yeah. And he kind of looks like. Just leaves people without really saying much, but he does. He does with all his effort. John Edgar. Oh, John Edgar. I'll go with Gryffindor. He's a okay. Gryffindor. I, he's I, in your house. He's in my house. It's your guy. He's in yeah. your house. Fine. Yeah. Fair. Anyone who's gonna be a Slytherin. Slytherin. There's one Slytherin on oh, the team. Oh, for sure. Call him for out sure. Right now. For sure. Is a, oh, there's one Slytherin. Slytherin is the same as. It's kind of as Gryffindor. They're powerful. Like they. Right. They. They know what they're doing. It's probably Aiden. Oh wow, that's yeah. crazy. Yeah, he's like kind of that energy guy. He's always just yelling and stuff. He's, I mean, he's he's a, he's a, a great glue guy, a great, great person you want to be around, mm -hmm. a great person you want on your team. Yeah. He's kind of the guy in the background, just like just pushing for the team. Exactly, yeah. pushing for the team. Yeah. All right, Yasu with Silent E for us. Yeah. Thanks for coming out. Awesome talk. Good luck to you guys. Thank you. Very much. Thank you.